we gotta get out of here. This is a bad, bad, bad idea. Going to take the cautious approach to try and get away. Get over his head. Go. Gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Here we go again. 44 evolutions to get through, starting with this idiot. And we're gonna get there today. I don't care how long it takes. I spent four and a half hours last night trying to do just this. Couldn't do it. So here we are trying again. Also used a few little bonus codes to get myself some experience bonus, so these early levels at least are going to go faster than ever. For now, we're a bee. We can eat a few of the other animals, but I'm in a hurry. We're mostly going to mess with people once I'm strong enough to mess with people. That experience is going up so much faster than it was last night. I wish I knew that was a thing. And yeah, I could have started a few evolutions in, but I wanted to go through every single one of these to make it as painful as possible. I mean, we're already up to pigeon anyway, which is really terrifying because everything wants to and can eat the pigeon. Also the same with the duck. Every time I see a duck, I can't help but try and eat it. I don't know why, I just have the urge to eat the duck. The bluebird is a bit of a fun one because it's got the dive bomb ability, so if I happen to see a fly, I'm gonna dive bomb on it, but I'm also not gonna get killed by these things. I did enough of that yesterday. We found ourselves a fly, so I just gotta be sure to land on it, and I missed entirely. But you know what, I might still get it. Flies don't care about dying because they're so early on anyway. The bluebird turns into the Fruit Loops bird. I don't know why I found that so exciting. I still can't really eat anything worthwhile. Unfortunately, that turns into whatever this is, a stork. So I can't eat very many things, but I do eat frogs, so that's actually a lucky find. Which also turns into the creatively named Redbird, which can eat mosquitoes. And I think we're all after this one mosquito. And... Oh, I tried to dive bomb him. And now I'm one of these, a pelican. I might have to go deep sea diving, but if I can get away with eating frogs, I will, because I'm super lazy. There we go. As a turkey, I do have a few options at my disposal. Apparently every once in a while when I hit the ground, I have a chance to find a worm, which is something, but actually they can eat snakes. Maybe we should go eat some snakes. That is exactly how birds fly. Couldn't be more realistic. Very first snake. Had to fly a long ways over for this, so it definitely wasn't worth it. Even if it levels me up all the way, that wasn't worth it. Well, it got me two-thirds of the way there, so at least that's something. And we've become the bat, which I'm pretty sure his power is night vision. You have full vision in the dark, which is helpful. I'm not sure what those two are fighting about, but I'll go ahead and take that from you guys. Thank you. And we're one of these now. Oh, this is the underwater bird. I remember this. It's all about pretending you're a fish while not being eaten by the sharks. And I do really like this one, mostly because you get left alone. There's nothing really that can eat you except for the sharks, and they're very predictable. No other players really come down here. And if they can, they can eat you. I made the same mistake again. I did this last time. I evolved into the next bird while I was way down deep. This bird doesn't like to be underwater very much. Pretty limited food options, but there are a few creatures we can eat, so I'm definitely going to go for those every chance I get. Just to be annoying. I evolved at the perfect time. The parrot ran into me as I evolved. Oh no, and I think he's going to get away now. Oh, get him! Get the parrot! No, he's gone. But the wasp is a lot of fun because it's one of the first creatures where you really can't hit a lot of things. And I think I have a 1 in 3 or 1 in 4 chance to poison things. 1 in 4 chance to poison them. So once I hit them, they panic. And it's not even a big deal to me whether or not they live from that point. I just want to annoy them. Still not really a capable build for killing things, so we're going to move on. I'm no... This bird that can only eat dead fish. Nobody ever said vultures were exciting. I'm just going to keep flying to the left until I find fish. And I literally leveled up after one. Okay, what do we eat now? We eat mice, we eat frogs, we eat all sorts of things. We eat parrots. I would kind of like to eat a parrot. And I actually got one. Not sure if I hit record in time, but that happened quick. Oh no, it died coincidentally next to me. Oh, get away from that. As a simple owl, we have a 10% chance to do critical damage and 50% chance to deal critical damage to food. That means things I hit, they're in for a rough time. Like this duck. Got him. Not critical, but I hit him. Guys, I have a chance to defeat the coronavirus. I've got to take this. Well, it got away. Tried my best, really did. Next on our list, I am a maroon bird. When we run out of names, we can just call the bird's colors, and that counts. And we're all fighting over this one fly who seems immortal. Can you just... Okay, well now no one gets it. Hope you're happy. Any of the birds with a swoop power are really good, because all you gotta do is get above something, and you can really catch them off guard, and it's a lot of fun. We are flying through these today. I'm already a falcon. Was that a diamond? I bet diamonds are rare. They probably don't spawn very often. I kinda want that. I don't need that, but I just don't want anyone else to have it. Duck? We got like a lunge attack with this so I can get a little speed boost so I can eat things nice and easy. This is one of the better birds. And we're now an eagle so I can eat all sorts of things including cats, penguins, and meat. So we're gonna fly to the left and mess with some ice. And it's already that time where we're now the snowy owl so we gotta head to the left anyway. I managed to level up just by eating people but now we can eat penguins and gerbils. I don't know what those are. This one is terrifying to level up because if something that can eat me comes down into this cave, it's not a lot of fun. There's not a lot of ways out. And when you're right about here, you can't really see the surface, so you don't know if something's coming down in until it's too late. Next bird form is... What am I? I can't see the black text. I'm this bird. I look like a loaf of bread with a beak. Apparently, I am a hawk, which can eat things like pigeons, so that's convenient. Come on, one more touch. Touch, touch, touch. Nope, you got away. I can, however, eat cats. 
That one was surrounded by poop, but I got right in there. For some reason, people really like falling into this body of water hurt, and they land all the way to the bottom, so as long as I swim on top of them, they're boned. And thanks to that little trick, I'm now a raven, which is a pretty good one because what does this do? Passive, bloodthirstiness, you eat the next food in one bite. Unfortunately, that doesn't include players. Pretty sure I found a spawn point for a lot of people. Right there beside me, beside this body of water, a lot of people spawn, and I can eat them right away. And you know that feeling when you fly headfirst into something you really shouldn't? I've got that right now. I just flew dead into that and we bounced upwards at the same trajectory so he murdered me very quickly. My favorite food of all, cats. I'm not, in, not even talking about the game. Now we're making progress. I'm a bat which is very annoying to play against because I can dive down into the caves and see everyone and it's a lot of fun to trap him down there. Like this poor pigeon. He didn't get a long ways in but I think I'm able to push him in far enough. Well he's not putting up much of a fight anyway but you get the idea. Got one trapped. And that poop may or may not have purposely been placed there so he couldn't get out. The good news is we're one step away from being the big pterodactyl. The bad news is this can only eat the yellow fruits in Dinosaur Land, which is on the other side of the map. But lucky for me, I found a portal last night right up here that can take me all the way there. Just gotta fly all the way up and find it. Right here. For the longest time, I didn't know this existed. I would literally fly all the way across the map. A few yellow fruits later and we're a full-sized pterodactyl. This one's fun because you can just land on top of things and they get trapped. There's not really much you can do about it. Such as this unlucky guy. That was quite a bit of experience for him to lose. I bet he's pretty mad right now. A fun strategy with these guys is to fly up into the air, drop straight down onto a water hole. Then they'll trap whatever's down there. They can't get away. Uh, unless you don't land on them. But if you do, great. Like this poor guy. See, once you're on top of them, you're too wide. They can't get out from under you, and it's hilariously evil. All right, I gotta eat one more thing, then we're done with the pterodactyl. Oh, if he was just a little bit slower, we would have had him. Anyways, we're now at this thing. All I gotta do, ooh, stay away from the dragon, is touch things and I poison them. This one is kind of hard to work with because that's basically all I can do is poison them and hope they die. And the depressed grape seems like it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like even if I'm constantly touching something, it ticks so slowly. I think that guy legged out before I could even kill him. As much fun as I'm having poisoning players, it's not really working fast enough. I'm gonna need the fish and move on to better creatures. After the depressed grape, we get something that excitingly eats stones. Luckily, it's only gonna be two stones, so we'll start heading to the right because I know what's next. Basically, the red version of the stone eater. I can only eat red eggs. And I'm all the way up to seventh place already that went by so fast then we turn into this thing which is also kind of hard to play as because once you hit things you paralyze them for four seconds but you're too small to really do anything about it they always get away luckily for me i can't eat the eggs i get way less experience as this thing but i still get experience so i'm gonna work with that once you're done collecting eggs you become a bowling ball with a pitchfork this creature's power is a one in three chance to light something on fire if they do light something on fire it loses five percent health per second so it has 20 seconds to live and interestingly it's one of the few creatures that can kill the big boss is this yeti and the spider we'll go see him next because this is the fastest way to do it killing these guys gives you lots of experience and again there's a bat up here and a bat would give me lots of experience if i can get him on fire it's gonna be hard to catch him it's coronavirus again i have another chance to defeat it though i'm sure i'll get more opportunities another great thing about this guy he can fit in caves you can get all the way down there and light things on fire down here once they're on fire down here they don't really have a lot of chance that guy's got 20 seconds to find water now and he's going through the caves once we're done with that we become a dragon now what the dragon does is fires its fireballs. If they hit something, that's 25% of their health gone plus 5% health per second, which is pretty considerable. What I like doing with this guy is firing a very slow fireball, and then a second very slow fireball, and then a third very slow fireball and waiting for it to hit something because that all stacks and that's a lot of damage. I just managed to eat a raven and look at all the experience I got. I'm basically all the way to the next thing which is a phoenix which is another one that's really fun. The phoenix is fun kind of for reasons like this. You can get right down in here and once you set things on fire like that, 5% per second. All you gotta do is get kind of close to them and use your ability. He's just gonna wait down there to die and I'm gonna sit here and watch. He's trying to find an exit and he can't find one because there isn't one. You're welcome buddy. Now you can really be annoying by hanging out near a water hole. Because the recharge time is only 8 seconds, things need to get back to that water to put themselves out. As soon as they do, they'll put themselves out, but then you light them on fire again and it's a never ending pattern. And this is one of the few creatures that can eat alligators. Now that my annoying job as a phoenix is done, I am a cosmic insect, which looks like this and only eats those eggs that are in space. Not really sure who or what can eat me at this point, but I know if I set on the egg, I'll be alright. And just by being this thing, I'm all the way up to fourth place. And after that, I turn into this thing. I can eat things like that. I think there's some over here. Don't know what they are, but I'm putting them in my mouth. This is far and away the most exciting of all the creatures to play as, because I get to sit on big blue fruit and do nothing. And now I'm whatever this is. So... 
Great, I can eat these now. I do feel a little better knowing there's only three people stronger than me and therefore only three people that can eat me because last time I was doing exactly this and one of the few things stronger than me came into the cave and trapped me. I lost a heartbreaking amount of experience. So next is a cosmic bat which looks like this and that means I can eat even dragons. I can eat everything out there. My powers are in space I move normally. Oh I can eat this thing too. I've always wanted to eat one of these even though I've only seen it twice. How much experience do you give me? That's actually a ton of experience. Wow. But I also couldn't help but noticing how big I am. I think it's going to act like the pterodactyl. If I land on top of something in the water, they're going to have trouble getting away. And I really dislike annoying people. Not sure if all the creatures do different amounts of damage to, but this one seems to hit particularly hard. I've destroyed a few creatures, only hitting them once or twice. This is not a good place to be. I shouldn't have gone in the mud. I was chasing a pelican of all things to do that. I should learn something from this because I was just chasing no experience and I died. Oh, he's going to get the phoenix though, so that makes me feel better. Because if I'm going to lose, everyone else has to lose all the way back to this thing. Well, that sucks. Sometime later, we're back. The big yellow biter. Lessons I learned from last time. Don't put yourself in the muck, because if you do, the one thing that can kill you will stroll by at that moment and kill you, setting you back an hour. I'm actually really nervous playing as something like this, because you know that anything stronger really wants to eat me because I'm worth so much experience. And apparently I turn into this next, which is just dying, and I'm a ghost. What do I do as a ghost? The zombie. Where did I find a zombie? Probably the graveyard. I know it was somewhere to the left. My skill as this thing is immortality. You are immortal. You can take a break from playing. I'm not ready to take a break. I've still got people to eat. Oh, I'm in second place. That's not bad. The zombie might be down here. Probably makes sense given what I'm seeing. There's got to be something down here. What are you? You're not anything. You're not a zombie. I wonder what I was looking for. The zombie. Or at least a zombie. Hopefully this turns me into whatever is next. What does that say? Ghostly Reaper. Ghostly Reaper might be the final evolution, so that would be awesome. You, please die now. Excellent. This is going to be fun. Oh, I've still got more evolutions after this. My skill, 25% of a player's health every time I hit it with my scythe. And I can eat everything. So it's just going to be a matter of cornering the right type of players. Four hits, they're done. Probably going to be hard to do out in the open. I know these things kill me every once in a while, but that's because I smash right into them and then they get four easy hits on me. I'm just going to fly around with a right click held down, that way I just automatically attack things. Animals won't give me any experience, I gotta remember that. Just out of habit, I farm them. I'll just sit here and wait. Something's gonna walk out eventually. If I wanted to be really mean, I'd just wait up here and wait for all those defenseless orbs to come by, and then I'd just kill them really easily and get huge experience. And this creature doesn't like being in space very much, so let's get out of here before I die. I thought this creature was going to be awesome. It's actually hard to use, because I've got to actually hit things with my pick four times. Somehow I slid my way into first place, so I'm officially the strongest person on the map. Now, if only I could kill a single thing with this powerful character. Look how little experience that got me. I just killed a something and I got like a sliver of experience. I could just harass Zane here for a while. Zane will be good experience. If Zane wants to die, I'll be happy to oblige. There we go. And oh, that leveled me up instantly. I am now a pumpkin head. Pumpkin ghost. Okay, I need to figure out what this thing does. I can speed up. I can only eat pumpkins. Where were the pumpkins? I think by the graveyard. I don't know why this is one of the top evolutions, but it is. Okay, run the pumpkins, they're over here. I've ignored them because this is the only thing in the game that can actually eat them, and apparently I only need to eat two of them before becoming whatever it is that's next. I'm in first place by 6,000 points, and this is what I got. I am this. Next is the Grim Reaper. I kill all living creatures, and I think I just have a pickaxe attack again. Yes, I do 30% damage to them if I hit them with the pick, so still four hits to kill them, but if they're already hurt, that could be three or less. Oh no, this little bluebird is stuck. I better help it out. There you go, enjoy freedom. I think I finally found a place where I can kind of track players. Even that's not really working great, but I got one, so if I wait patiently here for a long time, that could work. Caves like this make me happy. Look at all the creatures that are in here. Not sure how good their vision is, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait and see if anything comes to me. This guy thought it'd be fun to try and sneak past me. He's gonna learn why that was a bad idea. Oh, dragon, if I can get the dragon. Oh, this would be huge for me. Come on, get the dragon. Yeah, perfect. Wow, I actually did it. I killed the dragon. That guy's so mad, that sets you back like an hour. Now, what does this guy do? I can eat all living creatures. Uh, my skill is 35% of the max health if I hit him with the scythe. There's nothing next, so this is it. The ultimate evolution looks like this. And yeah, this is his skin. Maybe I can eat the depressed grape while I'm here. I was kind of hoping the final evolution has some kind of cool power or something. There's nothing really left to do at this point, but decide how best to annoy everyone. I need to find the worst spot for me to sit and then pretty much trap everyone. Coronavirus is back. We've evolved so far, haven't we? Just found an owl who probably regrets his choice. Even managed to level himself up. Oh look, he got away. Not. Can we defeat the thing that's in the underworld? 
that looks pretty strong and I couldn't hurt it as anything else. This might be the only thing they can. Really glad the green fire doesn't uh, hurt me. I was kind of wondering how that would play out. Okay, we can, but it can hurt us back. Oh, we got to get out of here. This was a bad, bad, bad idea. Going to take the cautious approach to try and get away. Get over his head. Go. Got to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So that thing can be defeated, but good luck. You're going to need like eight of these guys to be able to do that. And I'm not risking losing my progress. My mortal enemy. The only other one of these that exists so far. At least that I found. Oh, and there's a phoenix too. We can all get a bunch of experience here. He's not really down to fight, it looks like. There's a phoenix destroying that spider. I think he's moving to the right and it's slow for him to get out. So I think I could actually trap him there. I'm glad I caught that. Hey, get out of the way, B. Oh no, get out of the way. I got to block this tunnel. This phoenix is going to be mad. Yep, here he comes. Oh, I might not be able to get past this. Oh, I should have let him come a little further. Man. Either way, I wouldn't have been able to trap it because I can't get past this spot. He could have backed off and I wouldn't have had him. Just saw him poke his head up there. I'm not sure he can get out of the cave that way. He might be too big. I think he is. So I'm going to go back and block the exit again. And I'm just going to wait for him and wait and wait and wait. He's currently in sixth place. If we see him drop, we know that he died somewhere in the cave. So we'll just wait for a few minutes. I'm not sure if he can get out or not. One of these guys just came down. So that was kind of nice. I guess they like coming down here because of the experience they can get. No, he got away. We'll let him have that one. He came right back in. What's he doing? Oh, he's so mad right now. Wait, what? Did he just quit? What's happening? Is he lagging out? Did he alt F4? I don't, I, don't, I don't get how he's doing this. That should count as a win for me, though. Either way, he's annoyed and I'm happy. Not really sure what he's doing, but I wish I knew how to do it. That way, when I was in trouble like that, I would be able to get away instead of dying the many times like I have. And it looks like coronavirus has eluded us once again. He must have escaped from the cave to the left. He escaped. They did get out. I don't know how they did it, but they eluded me. They went through the wall somehow. This little bird's in a fun predicament. I'm going to sit right about here. He can't go into the spider web because he'll die over there. So as long as I'm sitting here, we'll just sit and wait. I've got time. Well, they accepted their fate and walked into my scythe. This is a good little cave for this character because things just walk right into you. If they're smart, which they might be, they'll fly over my head to the far right pumpkins. But we'll find out pretty shortly. And here's the ghost version. I think no one wants to fight me because I'm still a stronger version than them. This guy might be the same thing, but I'm not sure. If I could get this guy trapped in a cave, then I would have it made. Found him underwater. Oh, I could have had an advantage if I played that better. They just run for the clouds as soon as they see me now. I think this is the first chance I've had to kill a dinosaur. So that's neat. What about sharks? I can kill the sharks. Might, yeah, there goes the pterodactyl. That guy's going to be mad too, because that's a big setback. I found coronavirus again, but he's just a little ghost taking a break. Got another pterodactyl. That one is only a baby, but that sets him back even further. And I know there's currently a phoenix fighting that spider, so I'm waiting to see if they're going to pop out this side. If they do, I'm going to try and ambush them and catch them. I took a peek. They're coming this way. I don't think they saw me. They might be playing on a smaller screen than I am, so I have a bit of a vision advantage. Yep, there they are. Come on, come on. Got him. That one felt good. 59,000 points, and I bet he's really, really mad. All right, I think to finish this one off, I want to go find a character that can hurt me and battle to the death. Whichever one of us survives, survives. Whichever one dies, dies. Target acquired, we got ourselves a ghost. Mm, again, not sure if this is stronger or weaker than me, and he just runs away anyway. No one wants to fight. Oh, if he's going for the mud or the water, I could get him. He's realized I'm after him, and he just kind of runs away every time I get close. I just want to hit you a few times. Come here. Got him once, and then I hit space, so I kept on floating. Oh, I think he's in there, though. Got him once. Oh, hit for hit. Let's do this. Oh, no. That's not good for me. But that's a good way to end it. They get all those points now. They earned it. It just puts me back as a ghost anyway, so I'd be right back to where I was.